Hello, I'm Cheryl Bergeron, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. Extra, extra, would you pay to read all about it? According to a new study, 6 in 10 Americans choose to read their news online. But only 19% of those readers say that they would be willing to pay for online news content. In fact, a whopping 82% of respondents said that they would look elsewhere if their preferred news sites began asking for payment. This report comes at a time when many news websites are rethinking their revenue models. Popular sites already asking for payment include the Wall Street Journal and the Financial Times. The New York Times recently announced that beginning next year, it will also charge for content. Meanwhile, consumers are changing the way they read the news. Social media sites are a new commonly used news source, and a quarter of consumers are getting news on their mobile phones. Gone are the days when you had to scurry to the store for a forgotten birthday or anniversary gift. Now you can simply deliver such presents from your mobile phone. Introducing Give, a mobile gift-giving service that allows you to send gifts via text message. Simply find the perfect gift, then enter the recipient's number into the site. Give will send the recipient a text message with a URL and code to receive the gift online or in the store. Current participating retailers include Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Tom Shoes, and Fandango. To give your own gifts, take a look at give.com in top screen too. Where are you allocating your marketing dollars over the next five years? Well, according to a new report from Juniper Research, you should set some aside for M-Commerce. M-Commerce, or mobile commerce, is growing rapidly as more and more consumers upgrade to smartphones. In fact, the mobile retail market is expected to grow to over $12 billion by the year 2014. At first, most retailers will use mobile coupons. As mobile grows, however, mobile advertising is expected to exceed mobile coupon values. M-Commerce offers the unique opportunity to closely target certain markets. It also allows retailers to change campaigns quickly and easily track results. So advertisers, opportunity is calling. It's time to pick up on mobile. Four, no, that's not a golf ball flying through your TV. It's just the 2010 Masters Tournament in 3D. That's right. This year, the Masters Golf Tournament will be broadcast in 3D on the first in-home 3D-capable televisions. Sony is sponsoring the broadcast and providing the necessary camera equipment. Sony also manufactures the 3D sets on which many viewers will watch the competition. Comcast 3D viewers and those with a broadband connection and 3D-enabled PC will be able to watch the tournament in 3D. And more 3D sports coverage is coming soon. ESPN plans to introduce its new in-home 3D channel this summer. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Cheryl Bergeron.